Alright guys, I'm walking back down here to the creek where I made my last video. And I said I found a new place that so I was going to do some mink trapping in the fall. Well there's some new mink tracks along the edge there. That hole is still over there. But I went around a little bit and I looked and there's a hole under all that brush and it kind of indents into the bank. And then there's a run coming out of it. Uh... Right before I started recording, there was a raccoon actually over there. I was trying to get up there on the road a little bit, trying to be able to see it, but he got away. Uh, but yeah, the mink tracks, they continue to just follow the edge there, and they go in over, over there, and they just swim right down the bank. But I'm going to come over here. I don't know if you'll be able to see it with the camera, but uh, I actually just looked. Right down there, there's a little spot like straight down that is dried where it's not like the it's like the sand or dirt comes up a little bit and the water's on each side of it and there's actually a spring that feeds out under there but uh there's some new mink tracks along that little edge there and there's some raccoon tracks going right beside it on that little uh little uh yep concrete thing but uh and then directly down where the sand pops up there's actually raccoon tracks that come from all the way under the bridge and go right up there and they go right around and they walk straight up there. So that tells me them woods over there got raccoons in it that I can probably lure out with some of uh, Clint Locklear's uh, stuff he uses. It's a uh, coon crack and stuff like that. I use coon potion but I'm thinking about ordering some of the stuff he uses. So, uh, yeah, I mean, looks like I, apparently I was right. There are some more animals in here than I thought, because those are obviously raccoon tracks, and there was mink tracks, and I'm really hoping once I go down, I've been told this empties into a larger creek, which stays, uh, completely filled with water. So I've been told that all the way down there is where it is, but it's all the way around that corner and stuff. And I've been told that that creek actually opens up into a pond. So we're going to try. See if we can't find a place to catch us some beeves. Muskrats. And hopefully. Uh, some otter. So. I'll get back to y'all with my next video. Probably sometime next week. Just uh, subscribe. Like. Comment on anything you think I can do better. Any kind of traps that you think I should set. Uh, thanks for watching, guys.